Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your uh, plans in ARCHICAD so that they look more presentation friendly. So basically what that means is we're going to add image fills with different textures so that the plan looks a bit better. So what you're going to do in order to achieve that is we're going to create new fills. That's basically what's going to happen. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Options, Element Attributes, Fill Types. Once you're here, you're going to click on New. And you're going to select here Image Fill because that is the type of fill that we will be creating. And you're going to name it. I'm going to name mine 00, zero Wood Floor. Okay. Once you're here, you're going to click on Load Image. From here you're going to click on From File dialog box and you're going to go wherever on your computer you keep your patterns or image fills and you're going to look for a fill that you are planning to use. So I'm going to go maybe this one, I'm going to click on Open and once the fill appears here on the right you're going to click on OK. Once you're here, you're gonna uh, give the uh, you're gonna type in the dimensions that you want your fill to have. So I'm gonna increase it maybe a bit because if I leave it like this, it's gonna be really small. So I'm gonna click type in 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, you have you want to have this keep original proportion selected because otherwise the image is gonna be distorted. And down here, you can click on different. Uh, mirroring options. Sometimes, depending on the pattern, one of these looks better than the others. Usually I just stick with this one, but in some cases I like to switch it up. So once you're here, you're gonna click on OK. So, now, once you've done that, you're gonna make sure that in your toolbox you have your fill tool selected. You're gonna go here to the fill, cap, fill types that you have and under the image fill category you're gonna have your fill that you just created which is in my case 00, zero wood floor and then you can basically just start drawing it wherever you wanna have it placed in the floor plan Okay, and then once you've done that, you can see that your fill appears, um, the fill that you just created appears. Uh, I don't like the fact that, first of all, it's not aligned with the walls of the building, because it's aligned with the, uh, you can see it here, that I have my orientation a bit changed from zero degrees. And I don't really like the proportions of the of the fill, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. And over here on the right, I'm going to click on the construction method distorted fill. So here I'm going to change uh, these two lines. Once you click that, these two lines appeared, which are the lines with, that you're going to use to distort the fill from how it looks right now. So here you can see that the angle is not, not perfectly 90 degrees. I'm going to go until I intersect the 90 degree guideline and I'm gonna hold shift hold down on shift and I'm gonna click on tab and put the distance to meters it's in my case over here I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna do two meters but maybe this is a bit too much, so what I'm gonna do is reset this to 1.5. And over here, uh, maybe this one I'm gonna leave on too. So, yes, as you can see, the floor plan already looks better because it just gives a bit more depth and it helps with how you see the floor plan and how your customers or clients can 
imagine maybe better what you designed. Okay, I hope this helps. Bye!